heard before the break into the Badlands. Come on, boys. Archer! was too much for us. Butch, you round up the rest of the boys and meet us at the end of the ridge. Frequent to suit me. We're riding to the cave to have a talk with Clem Morgan. Come on. You starve me? Yeah. When a man's hungry, it ain't so hard to make him talk. to tell us about those mineral deposits? If I take you to where them mineral deposits are, will you turn me loose? I will, if you don't try to double-cross me. I'm agreeable. All right. Get Morgan ready to leave. Tie him on his horse and keep him blindfolded until you get to the ridge. I'm not taking any chances on letting him know where he's been. Where are you going? I'm going to Sycamore. Hold him at Gila Bend, and I'll meet you there in one hour. Right. I like your style. Well, let's get going. You got something on your mind? Yeah. I want to ask your friend the sheriff about something I overheard in Sycamore. I thought we was going to play a lone hand in this game. We are. I'm just trying to inveigle a little information out of the sheriff without him suspecting what I want. I'll take care of your herd on the way back. Good night, Mr. Parker. Good luck, boys. Take care of yourselves. Thanks. Some of Gillespie's men. They got a man with them tied to a horse. That must be Clem Morgan. What shall we do? Happy, you follow them and see where they go. But be sure and don't let anyone see you. Now go on. Coyote! 
saw Gil's gang with a prisoner riding north of here. It must be Clem. You ladies better get back to the ranch. It's not safe out here. Well, watch out for Happy. He's trailing you. Thanks, Mary. Do you think we should go back to the ranch? Certainly not. Seek? Shh. They went that way, headed for the bend. But you can take this trail and head them off at the bend. Well, come on. Montana and Jingle Bob? Yes, and they've gone after the gang. Well, why didn't you go with them? Well, I kind of figured maybe on going back after a while. Well, a lot of help you are. Well, you're going back right now with us. Come on. There they come, Jingle. Get him coming around the band. Right. Reach for the sky. Keep him covered, Jingle Bob.
sure got you tied, Clem. How'd you and Jingle get out of that pile? We got out all right. Where were they taking you to? I'll guess with you. Tell me you let Montana take Morgan away from you and him unarmed? Well, he's a wildcat with guns or without them. They'll be taking Morgan to the Parker Ranch. We're getting him out of there tonight. Well, Jingle, I thought I left you to guard them. Well, what happened to you? Well, I was taking a fellow's gun and somebody... Put out the lights. Lights? Yeah. Lucky for you, I kept that gang busy while you was doing the easy work. Well, come on, get up and get on your horse. Let's get back to the ranch. Maybe we'll get there in time for supper. I'm glad Montani rescued you, Clem. Why don't you stay put? I ain't telling nobody why my claim is. There's been too much gab about it already. When time comes, I'll lead you to it and we'll stake her out. Well, I'll show you where our claims are located. Oh, I wish the boys would hurry back with the things I asked the Bowie in town. When my father arrives with his supply train, it'll be like Santa Claus arriving in the middle of summer. I sure wish you'd bring me a gun. Oh, I forgot you lost yours. Come on with me, and I'll give you the choice of our collection. That's an idea. We'll put Montana out of the play first. Then it'll be easy to get Clem again. Three of you cover the house. The rest of you follow me to see who's at the bunkhouse. You think your father will be agreeable to this? Oh, you'll have to be. You know, we can't afford to have you go around unarmed. Supposing Gill and his gang should break in on us. Oh, I don't think they'd take that chance. Well, I'm not so sure about that. You know, Mary, this looks like a gun that Jingle Bob was telling me about one time. A bandit on it. Holding up a stagecoach. And in the stagecoach was a very pretty girl. He walked up to this girl and held her up. And he says, Close your eyes. Give me a kiss. So she gave him a kiss. All right, men. Well, you know what to do. Once I saw a little bird come hop, hop, hop. So I cried, little bird, will you stop, stop, stop? Come on up on your feet there. All right, boys, take him outside. Montana, and not like you were scared. You understand? Montana! Oh, that's only happy in the bunkhouse. Don't pay any attention to him. Montana! Boy, I think I'd better go see what he wants. All right. Take him out of here and put him to sleep. Here he comes. All right, get inside. What do you want, Happy? Come on, come on, come on. I got some very important unfinished business to attend to.
Well, it's about time you showed up, Happy. Where you been? <laughs> 